All right, this one's gonna be on creating our own custom uh, bleach bit cleaners. Uh, you know what bleach bit is? Is basically a way to delete uh, junk files securely, aka what Hillary Clinton uses to delete her email. All right. <laughs> um, but with bleach bit, they do come like with some defaults, and those are like mainly for popular programs. But uh, if you're using a program that is not very popular, um, you're probably gonna have to create your own custom one, like I did here. So. I'm going to explain you how to do this on Linux, but this one does work on, um, what is it, Mac and Windows also? Should be cross-platform other uh, operating system. But anyways, in uh, Linux here, you want to um, uh, put it in, uh, what is that, your config, bleach bit, and this cleaners folder. If you don't have this folder, just create one. And then all you got to do is, uh, you know, uh, create an XML file, and inside it, this is where you're going to, uh, create the cleaner um, profile I guess but anyways I have a few here so I created one for W3M here and this thing is fairly easy I'll say all you gotta do is give it a you know an ID so in this case I'm doing this for W3M it's, just, it's a uh, command line web browser so you give it a label a little description what it is text based web browser like I said and all you gotta do is have an option. So each option is here. Uh, you can break it down to like subcategories or whatever. But uh, I have one for all. And this one's for the cache. This one's for the cookies. And history. And you know, whatever you, uh, that relates to the program that you're trying to delete. Uh, obviously, this one is a web browser. So it has history, cache cookies, and stuff like that. But other ones might just have like a, let's say a music program, you just have a playlist or something like that. Then, um, you know, you just delete the playlist or, or something like that, right? Anyways, um, hopefully you get that. But in here, you can see that I break it down into different things. Um, this one has, this is for the temp files. And basically your commands here, this is where it tells it to delete. So the actions here, right, this action part here. They do have some uh, predefined ones that you can use, and I'll show you more options um, in the sample later on. But uh, basically, when you write this, uh, this is the the main thing here, right? You want to say, okay, I'm gonna delete um, whatever I'm looking for. So I'm deleting stuff, and it says uh, globing, and globing will allow you to do like wildcards. So we're we're looking into this path here. So this is our W3M. And it's gonna look for anything that begins with W3M TMP, right? And anything afterwards, like uh, usually W3M it generates like random numbers after this. And there's a bunch of files that'll fill up. So I want to delete all those. Uh, so that's what I have here for the temp files here, right? Uh, so that, and same thing with these ones here. Uh, I believe these ones are source files. I do the same thing. And the history here, this one's a little different, right? Um, this one is just one single file as opposed to this one it can be uh, multiple files so that's why we have a wildcard but this one's a single file and um, that's why we don't have to use the glob uh, anymore uh, we just use file right so it says delete and we're searching for a single file so that's why we use file and the path is right there right that's the that's the text file that we want to delete here um, cookies here and cookies, they, they actually have um, two type of cookies. So there's a, what was that? Uh, they actually generate a bunch of cookies here with W3M cookies and uh, random numbers. That's why we're using a wildcard here. That's why we're using Globing. Uh, and then this cookies uh, file is a single file. So that's why we're using file. Pretty much it, right? And you can see on the other stuff here. And I also like to create, instead of like, you know, breaking down this into individual things, uh, if, I if I want to like clear something really quick, I also create a all option. Now this one is optional. Um, I prefer to do this because uh, I'm using mainly bleach bit from the command line. If I was gonna do all this individually, it would take too long. Um, but if you're using from the GUI, um, you might want to conform to their standards, but uh, in, my, in my opinion, uh, you should always have an all option because it's quicker when you're doing this from the command line, right? And basically what this one does is uh, everything that all these other options um, already does individually, right? 
so that's pretty much it, really. Um, let me show you some other options that they have. Give me an example page that they have here. So they'll give you like this kind of like a readme page here if you want to go read it yourself. But uh, some other options that you can do is, uh, like I said, the main one here is just to file and delete, right? And they do have some truncate if you're going to do from, uh, what is that, like the log files or something like that. Um, and this walk, what is that, walk all and walk files here. These are basically for like uh, doing recursive stuff. Like if you want to go into one folder to another folder and so on and so forth. Um, and it'll find whatever it is and it'll delete it, right? And like I said, the globing here, this one is like for wildcards, you know. Uh, what else is down here? Now, like I said, this one does work on Windows, Mac, Linux, and some other operating systems out there. It's cross-platform. So this one does have options if you're doing this in Windows. Uh, they'll have like Windows registry keys or whatever you can uh, delete if you wanted to obviously that's not what we're going to do here but uh, you could do that if you're on Windows right uh, pretty much it for how you would use this is not that hard once you get the pattern and I actually had to do this because uh, I didn't really want to create like uh, you know an RM type of script or whatever that will be too much and uh, I'm already using bleach bit for other stuff so Creating one of these uh, custom cleaners, you know, for command line programs, it's pretty simple once you uh, get a little uh, template of how it looks like, and uh, you can create it yourself. Like for example, this one's for Ranger, the file manager, and you can see that it will delete like bookmarks um, and then history files. Uh, real simple, right? To clean up junk. Anyways, uh, that's what you can do if you want to create your own. And I'll show you how it looks like if uh, you're doing this from the, the GUI or the command line if you want to clear stuff. So, bleach bit. I, what the hell is that? Bleach bit. So, this is the GUI, right? This is what it looks like once uh, you have your own setup. Like, I like this one here, I have CMOS. And you can see that it has an option. I can just do that one and it'll delete everything. All right. Um, or you can do it individually. I just want to delete the cache. I just want to delete the library. Then I can do that. But we're not going to do that. Down here, the W3M here. If I want to delete the history, I can just check that. And let me give you an example of how it looks like, though. Let's see here. Do you have any W3M? Oh, there we go. So we have uh, W3M here, right? And we have history, right? It's still here. But if I check that box and I go delete, it'll delete it. And it says uh, delete it, uh, what is that? 4.1 KB, right? And now if I list this out again, the history file is gone. We only have the cookies files left. So that's how you do it from the GUI, right? If you want to do this from the command line, uh, it's pretty simple too. Let's see here. We can do bleach bit, if I spell it right. Uh, we're going to do a dash L for list, and we actually pipe into less so you can see all the options here. Uh, let's go down to W3M. So you see, this is all the options that we can do. We can do W3M all, like I said, W3M cache, cookies, history. Let's say we just do cookies, right? Because that's the only file that we have left in here. Right, so this one's cookies. If I want to delete this cookies file, uh, pretty simple. I just do bleach bit, I spell it right here, dash C, and I just do um, W3M cookies. And guess what? It does the same thing from the GUI, but we're doing this from the command line. And, and look at that, it says uh, recover 4.1 KB. And if it lists out the files again, it should not be there anymore. It deletes it. So that's how you use it from uh, the GUI or the command line. And like I said before, what was that? Uh, if you're doing this from the command line and you want to do multiples, you know, you would have to do like W3M history. It gets kind of annoying if you do like W3M, uh, what is that, temp files, right? This is a lot. That's why when we created the um, 
all option. All you gotta do is just type in uh, W3M all, and basically it will you know delete the history, the cache, uh, the temp files, the source files that we created earlier. Obviously, we don't have nothing no more because we already deleted all those. But uh, that's how you would run it, real simple. Uh, bleach bit was that bleach bit dash C, and then the you know the template or um, the cleaner we want to use. And again, to list out the cleaners. All you gotta do is dash L, leash bit dash L, I mean, and you can see all your um, uh, your custom ones and also your built-in ones that it comes with by default, right? Anyways, uh, pretty much it for creating your own custom cleaners. Um, if you want to submit it, there's actually a repo maintained by someone, I'm not sure. Uh, AZO, I think that's his name. But uh, you can actually uh, submit it to them, and they do like a pending, um, you know, for uh, people that contribute to this. They created one for each program. You can use that there if you want. Uh, and they do have their release ones that they confirm that it works well and all that. And some of these are for Linux and some are for Windows, so, you know, you can clone it if you want to use it, whatever. Anyways, if you want to contribute back, that's the repositories if you choose to do so. That'll be it for this one.